Hello and welcome back to Rada's Test Kitchen. I'm Chef Blake and today we're going to be making a chicken wild rice soup. All of our ingredients are here in front of us. We have uh, celery, carrots, mushrooms, onion, some chicken stock, half and half, fresh chicken, some butter, some flour, some sherry, and some pre-cooked wild rice. We'll go ahead and start by peeling and cleaning our carrot. All right. Using the Rada vegetable peeler, clean up this carrot. celery clean up the edges you make sure you want to you want to make sure you wash the celery cut it in half cut it in quarters okay And last but not least, we got our onion. I'm gonna cut it in half, cut off each end. Clean off the top layer. All right, we diced up our vegetables. We've got our basic mirepoix here, which is onions, carrots, and celery. We got our cremini, or baby portobello mushrooms. And we're gonna start with cooking our chicken. Then we're gonna, after our chicken's cooked, we're gonna saute our vegetables in with it. And then we're gonna create our roux around it, and then add the rest of the ingredients. So we'll go ahead and start cooking. In our sto uh, stock pot, we have here a little bit of oil in the bottom. Get that hot. We're gonna add in our raw chicken, get that cooking, once again I'm cooking on medium heat on this specific stove, we don't want to burn anything and want to be cautious with it. Evenly space it out in the pan and let it cook. Whenever you're cooking chicken like this, it's really important just to let it go. You want it to get a nice browning on it. If you keep on stirring it, you'll never get a browning. So be patient with it. Starting to get a little bit of browning here. Just keep that going. I turn the heat up a little bit to speed up the process, but I'm going to watch it very carefully. Give it a stir. We're going to go ahead and add the vegetables now. let these all cook together. We're going to add in our, our butter. Mmm, smells so good. 
add just a little bit of salt. That brings out the flavor of the chicken and the vegetables together. It's what I call layered seasoning. You could at this point cover up your stock pot, turn it down to a little bit below medium heat, and let it go low and slow for a while. Or you could just sit and watch it. All right, as you can see, the vegetables are starting to sweat out a little bit more. The chicken is definitely fully cooked. You can even take, chop it up a little bit more as you need to. Each piece should be about the same size as a spoon. So that way when you're eating your soup, you're able to get a piece of chicken on your spoon. Same with the vegetables. They shouldn't be any larger than your spoon. That's why I cut them into this small dice. That way when you go to take a spoonful and go to eat it, you can get a little bit of everything on your spoon. All right, now our mixture is nicely cooked. You got the uh, vegetables sweated out a little bit. They're nice and tender. The chicken's fully cooked. We're gonna go ahead and add our flour. This is gonna create a roux, which is gonna help, and help, our thi uh, help thicken our stock and milk and cream. It's really important to make sure you cook off that flour. So before jumping into, turn down our heat a little bit. Before we jump into pouring our liquids in there, we wanna make sure we stir it up, keep that flour off the bottom here, and cook the flour. Turn the heat down. I can smell the flour cooked. We're gonna go ahead and add our stock. Give that a nice stir. Trying to get all the flour off the bottom of the pan. We add in our pre-cooked Minnesota wild rice which is actually a grass seed. So it takes a little bit longer to cook than a normal rice. One cup of half and half. Stir it all together. And then we wanna bring that to a boil. You can see that it's still runny. It's got to boil before it thickens. There it is. It's about perfect right there. Now the final and almost the most important step is seasoning. Salt. Little pepper. Add in our sherry. There's two different types of sherries that you'll find at the, at the store. One is in the grocery section and it would be considered a cooking sherry and it has a little salt in it, which kind of hinders the quality, I would say. So I use the kind of sherry that you would find in the wine section. You cook off everything that's in there. But it really adds a nice flavor to your soup. And there it is. It is finished. There is one good fall soup right there. All right, we pulled off the, the soup off the stove. Just pour it into a soup bowl. You can see how nice and hearty this is. I'll tell you, it beats any store-bought in soup.
the smell of the soup and the smell of this spiced soy candle really makes it feel like fall. Thank you for watching our YouTube video on how to make chicken wild rice soup. It's a great fall soup. Hopefully you can enjoy it with the family.